Gato Roboto, originally released in May of 2019. Available on PC, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox platforms, retailing for $7.99. Gato Roboto is a Metroidvania, where you play as a kitty. A kitty that's in a suit of power armor. While in the armor, you can jump and you can fire your weapons. And being a Metroidvania, you unlock more abilities for the suit. Double jumping and rockets and all manner of other things. But you can also get out of your power armor and walk around as just a regular cat. You'll need to do this to swim and get through little spaces that the suit just won't fit through. But you need to be careful doing this, as you have no weapons when you're out of your suit, and one touch from an enemy will kill you. Being a Metroidvania, there is a ton of secrets to find, and as you get new powers, you unlock new areas to explore, and you can go back to old areas to find power-ups you missed. Or rather, that you couldn't access without your new ability. This game is trying very hard to be both cute and funny, and it generally succeeds in those goals. As throughout the game, the cat's owner keeps talking to the cat and wondering if it can even understand what he's saying. And all the boss fights are with rodents, who also have their own suits to fight you in. The graphics are monotone pixel art, which makes everything simple, but easy to understand. You can change it from black and white to two other colors by finding cartridges hidden throughout the game. This is an interesting idea, but I found the graphics were always the best looking in the original black and white. But that is probably just a matter of personal taste. This game is also very short. Even doing a 100% run won't take much more than four hours. Overall, I would say this game is absolutely worth your $8. It's short and quite enjoyable, and being a Metroidvania is quite replayable. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends.